Hello, this is Ness Tilson here. And in this short video, I'd just like to show you how to use plinths in Polyboard. Um, plinths is a very easy function to use in Polyboard. Let's start by opening a model. Um, let's take this model not too high, it's pretty high here. Let's give it a width, say, give it an ordinary width and a depth, it's not very important. Here we have a, just a simple basic cabinet. Um, in this cabinet, let's have a look in 3D. Here we have the basic cabinet. Um, how, how do we have plant in it? Now, in Polyboard 5, uh, there is a possibility of adding a plinth. Um, the first thing you have to do is to lift the bit of furniture up. For, for, for the moment, the bit of furniture is 850 millimeters high. Uh, we have a parameter here called elevation. Um, this elevation, if I put in, for instance, an elevation of 100 millimeters, the furniture is now 850 millimeters high, but the actual box itself is 100 millimeters less. And Polyboard has now created a new volume underneath the mob, underneath the bit of furniture, which I can use to put in a plinth. To do this, I just put the mouse over the appropriate volume underneath the furniture, click right, and do add a plinth. If I had a plint on the front, I can say that the plint is 50 millimeters back, and Polyboard just adds the plint. But if I look at the plint in 3D, I can see, let's put it with the X-ray view, we can see clearly in the X-ray view that the plint goes up to the sides here. It doesn't go beyond the sides, it just goes up to the sides. Now, how do I get this plint to go beyond the side and to the end of this bit of furniture, for instance on the right-hand side here? Let's go to the right hand side and say that this right hand side, I would like the plinth, or I'll, click, I'll select the plinth, sorry, plinth, and when I click the plinth, we have its relationship, its link, the way it links to the right hand side. I click the right hand side, and the priority is under passing. I can't put the, print, the plinth over passing, but what I can do is I can say instead of a, of a type of joint, which is a recess joint, let's put a groove. And the groove, let's put the groove at the same thickness, at the same depth as the thickness of the side. If I put 19 millimeter groove, now the plinth has been extended and now goes beyond the side up to the end of the bit of furniture here. It's pretty neat. Okay, We can do the same, of course, for the other side. But say that this other side, this bit of furniture goes up against a, a wall or another bit of furniture on this side, on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, we want to extend the side down to the floor. This is very easy. We just click on the side. And the side's relationship, its link from the bottom, is it goes overlap. It has an overlap here, on the overlap parameter, of 100 millimeters. Now the side is now extended 100 millimeters and touches the floor. But say, for instance, that we want a cutout here that goes up to the plinth on the side. To do that, we will just take the side and we would edit its structure. And let's add a, a tooling to it. Here's the side, add a tooling. And let's say the shape of the tooling this time is a rectangle. The height of the rectangle is the height of the plinth, which is 100 millimeters. And the width of the rectangle is the depth of the plinth, which is 50 millimeters. Let's take it down and we say that the reference center for our tooling is the right hand bottom right hand corner and the same thing for the panel the bottom right hand corner and at the position the x position is zero and the y position is also zero now we have a cutout on the bottom corner of the left hand side of the bit of furniture which just follows the basic plinth recess kickboard recess and if we look into the bit of furniture on 3d we can see that the furniture is just neatly set up one side of plinth and one side which goes up to the end of the bit of furniture and on the other side the plinth the side of the bit of furniture extended to the floor and going around the plinth okay i hope that's been interesting for you and shows you just quickly one of the ways of setting up a plinth in polyboard hope to see you in the next video goodbye